lot of household items like cleaners and batteries we all have in our homes, but they can be dangerous. Now, before you throw them out, there is a place in Eshwabanon that works to give them a new purpose. Katie Shiro went to the Brown County Hazardous Material Recovery Facility to learn how to dispose of these items safely. It's National Poison Prevention Week, and a lot of these chemicals that you see here can be found in your household and might be poisonous. The Wisconsin Poison Center says since 2010, more than 425,000 people have contacted the center for mishaps with poisonous items. And since 2009, unintentional poisoning has been the number one cause of injury-related deaths for Americans 25 to 64 years old. Household items like cleaners, oils, and paint can be poisonous if ingested or used incorrectly directly, and they can become a hazard to the environment if dumped down the drain. So what do you do with chemicals you don't need anymore or ones that have expired? Mark Walter with the Brown County Hazardous Material Recovery Facility says that's what their facility is for. We are built uh, and designed to handle hazardous waste from the public, uh, specifically for Brown County residents, and we've grown to serve most of northeastern Wisconsin. The facility located in Ashwaubenon opens its doors to the public on Tuesdays and Thursdays year round for people to drop off chemicals they can no longer use. Walter said people drop off anything from herbicides to Windex to paint. These are mostly poisonous materials or toxic materials of some kind, but they are um, they're bad to have in the environment. They can harm uh, plants, animals, humans, if they're in the environment, so we want to make sure that we're getting them out of the environment as much as possible and properly disposing of them. Or, like I say, we do actually look at ways to recycle a lot of these things. He said they also collect and recycle old batteries, light bulbs, and electronics. Light bulbs are a big source, CFL or fluorescent bulbs specifically, but we get a lot of, uh, so, you know, this says HID, so high, in, high intensity bulbs, you know, they're all, they're all divided up by the type of bulbs. Some are more hazardous than others. Walter said they get about 700,000 to 800,000 pounds of material from the public a year, and they are only one of four permanent facilities in the state. The Hazardous Material Recovery Facility is located at 2561 South Broadway Street and is open for public drop-off Tuesdays 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Thursdays noon to 6 p.m. In Ashwaubenon, Katie Shiro, NBC 26.